Tangibalisco here, Minnesota Twins fan. I'd like to just remember something uh, from the 1960s, the era of Harmon Killebrew, Bob Allison and company, and the year 1965 when the Minnesota Twins won the pennant and played against the Los Angeles Dodgers losing in seven games. Tony Oliva came into his prime just, uh, I believe it was 1964 or thereabouts. And the first thing I remember, well, the, really the, the prime thing I remember about this guy was how the announcers remarked at his batting average early in the season. One year his batting average was well over 400. He was a phenomenon, a future great, no doubt, but knee injuries cut his career short. He became a designated hitter and what could have been one of the greatest careers in baseball history had to become, well, still one of the greatest in my opinion. Company to Harmon Killebrew, Bob Allison. Yes, I'm from that era, and I remember those twins and those teams back then, particularly the twins. But I remember the teams were a little different than they are today. Uh, they weren't uh, so so much into money and so much into grabbing all you can get as they were into playing baseball and playing it well. And in 1965, the Twins sure played baseball well. My dad took me to the second game of that series, where, from a seat in the old Metropolitan Stadium, I watched the Twins shellac Sandy Koufax. Apparently the Twins had not yet discovered that Koufax was unhittable. They only discovered that after the second game of the series. I remember Bob Allison's great catch in left field that may have saved the series to seven games instead of having it end in five, as it did, or <laughs> saved the series to, f well, it saved the series to seven games. Uh, otherwise, it would have it probably ended in five because that catch probably saved the game. Later, Metropolitan Stadium, also called the Met, was allowed to go into decay in the 1990s and allowed to just sit there for some time. And if you go to Wikipedia and find that stadium and look at the pictures uh, taken by one of the photographers of the uh, demise years of that stadium, the years when it sat neglected. There's a particularly depressing picture in there. That's what Bob Allison would have seen as he played left field during that World Series. It's what he would have seen as he looked to his left, the lawn jeans clock on the billboard, and in that photograph just stray rocks tall grass, and stray dogs. But Tony Oliva was a phenomenon, even with his injuries. And I remember him along with the others in that great twins era, the era of my childhood, the era when everyone was great. Where does the enthusiasm go? Stan Jubilisco signing off. It goes only down the drain if you want it to, I guess. Until next time. So long.